Hello, this is Vern, and if you've ever wondered what your older, wiser self tell you about love, if she could come back from the future and sit down with you to have a heart-to-heart, -heart, well, you are in luck, because I'm going to share with you today seven messages she has for you if you're willing to listen. Stick around. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today's another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And as I mentioned earlier, if the older, wiser version of you, let's say 20 years from now, were able to come and talk to you, hold you by the hand and look into your eyes and say, here's what's really important right now. As you think about your love life, especially if you're single, here's a few things, seven things she would tell you. Number one is you're absolutely unequivocally gorgeous. Stop telling yourself that you're not thin enough. Stop telling yourself you're not young enough. In 20 years, the most horrible day you have right now physically will become a, an amazing wet dream. <laughs> so for right now, enjoy what you have, embrace it, use yourself wisely, experience pleasure, allow your beauty and your radiance to be a path of flight that allows other human beings, including men, to connect to you and to offer their gifts in service of you. Number two, do a lot less swiping and texting and a whole lot more face-to-face. -face. As you think about what it really means to connect with someone and understand them and feel them in your heart, you'll probably recognize a few years down the road and 10 minutes of a face-to-face, -face, present, heart-to-heart -heart conversation with someone will show you more than seven months of texting and swiping. So whenever you get a chance to get out of your phone, step into the streets of life and connect with human beings in a real, raw, personal way, do it because you'll be able to create deeper connections and you'll be able to understand who somebody is, especially a guy, much more quickly than if you get to digitally understand who they are. <laughs> Number three, there is absolutely no need to do complicated. What does this mean? It means that, you know that dude that is that lives in a different city and is going through a painful divorce and is going also through a financial problem of some sort and it feels like such a great idea to connect with him because he gets you so much? No need for that stuff. Why? Because life has enough problems and enough complica complications as it is for you to add your own twist unnecessarily. There are plenty of human beings who are available, plenty of human beings who are ready for a relationship, for you to actually find the one that is unavailable and has uh, financial, physical, and logistical problems to connect with you. Number four, before it gets better, before it gets more exciting, before you get more connected, it's gonna get more uncomfortable. Another way of saying this is, if you are single and you want to find love, you will have to get uncomfortable and the price to pay will be emotional openness, it will be vulnerability, it will be stepping into courage when you don't want to do it, it will be speaking up when your voice is shaking. It's gonna get more uncomfortable before it gets better. If you're willing to, uh, to go through short-term discomfort, the riches, emotionally speaking, on the other side are gigantic. If you're unwilling to get uncomfortable, you're just delaying finding that human being who wants to spend the rest of his life with you. Number five, stop worrying so much about whether he loves you or not and understand that two factors will show you if he loves you. Number one, his actions. Number two, time. Why? Because anyone can show up really strong for a short period of time. It takes someone who understands himself loves himself and loves you to consistently through time show time and time and time again in real form not words or promises that he actually loves you number six nothing absolutely nothing in this life compares even gets to the vicinity of what expressing love and receiving love feels like so stop telling yourself the job is more important stop telling yourself that other things are more important. In the end, you will wish you spent more time expressing love and receiving love. 
So stop telling yourself you don't have time to find love. Stop telling yourself it's not perfect right now. We just have to wait until this next thing starts. There's never a perfect time. The perfect time is now if you're willing to be courageous and if you're willing to plant the seeds to experience the kind of love that you can take with you after you leave this earth. Number seven, it's not just about you, sweetheart. And here's what I mean. The level of love that you experience in this lifetime, the fulfillment, the pleasure, the excitement, the vulnerability, the joy, the expansion, the understanding of somebody else, the holding of space, all those amazing experiences, in addition to making your life more wonderful, will allow other human beings around you to open up to experience more of that. When you create a conscious relationship with a human being, with another human being, you open up the doors for future generations or even previous generations who have the privilege of witnessing you to open up to be able to experience some of that for themselves. So when you understand that the pain that you go through, and it is significant to experience the love that you want, that there's fear surrounding it, that there's rejection surrounding it, that there's discomfort surrounding it, that there's, uh, there's just anxiety surrounding it. If you understand that those things are not just for you to experience some feeling, but for you to expand your life and to allow others to experience the same level of passion and excitement and unconditional love that you're experiencing, then you know that this is more of a mission and service and gift to the world and legacy versus something you just get to feel for yourself. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful in some way. Hope you understand that the future version of you wants nothing more than for you to get this. And for you to get this, you have to open your heart and be willing to get more courageous. If you find this is helpful, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. There's a red button that allows you to subscribe. Number three, on the first line on the description of this video, there's a link. Click on that link and it will take you to a page that has a yellow bar. When you click it on it and enter your name and email, it will guide you to a free masterclass that I recorded for you that shows you specific, actionable, practical ways for you to create the kind of relationship you want with a lot less pain and with a lot more speed than your current trajectory. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.